Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. And of course, if you're if this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe because that will energize and keep me going. Determine the vertical displacement of B by Castellanos second theorem and the horizontal deflection of C by virtual work method E is 200 gigapascals. Cross-sectional area of members in millimeter square are enclosed with parentheses. So here is the figure. So first let's compute the vertical reaction at A. Since at B there's a 100 kilonewton load and it will lengthen if we apply a force P upward that B. So we just set this downward load as P to have a solution that is different from the preceding solutions. So that you will also be exposed to another way of solving the problem. So meaning if the result is positive, so the vertical displacement at B would be downward, which is obviously downward, of course. So summation moment about C equals zero. So AY times 12 plus 60 times four, then minus P times six. So AY in terms of B is 0.5 B minus 20. Take note that P is not invented anymore. It has a real value of 100 kilonewtons downward. Then summation for SY, then CY plus AY equals P. So CY is 0.5B. Summation for SX. So that's 60 AX and summation versus Y 0.5 B minus 20 plus R sub C equals P. So R sub C is 0.5 B plus 20. So we begin at joint A. Let's assign the forces in tension, just like in statics. Then the angle here is arc tan of 4 over 6. That's 33.69 degrees. Same is through there. So at A, summation forces Y equals 0. So S A D times sine 33.69 degrees plus 0.5 B minus 20 equals 0. So S A D in terms of B and the constant is equal to 36.056 minus 0.9014 of B. Then summation forces X, this is SAB. So 36.056 minus 0.9014P times cosine 33.69 plus SAB minus 60 equals 0. So SAB, simplifying, is equal to 30 plus 0.75 of P. And this SAB here, if you proceed to joint B, is equal to SBC by summing a forces horizontal or obviously. So that is equal to SBC also. Then summation for SY, SBD is equal to P, of course. Then finally, at joint C, summation for SY equals 0. So SCD sine... 33.69 plus 0.5b plus 20 equals 0. So SCD is negative 0.904p negative 36.056. Then let's tabulate the results. So here we have member. Here we have the member force S in kilonewtons. Then here we have, uh, this is Casigliano, so partial of S with respect to P, and the length in meters. 
So therefore, the product would be kilonewton meter S partial of S with respect to P times length that would be in kilonewton meter. So we begin with member AD. Its stress is 36.056 minus 0.9014P. The partial derivative is negative 0.9014. Its length is square root of 6 square plus 4 square. Square root of 6 square plus 4 square for length AD. That's 2 square root of 13 meters. Then the product of S. So take note P has a value here, 100. So 36.056 minus 0 0.9014 of 100 times negative 0 0.9014 times 2 square root of 13. That would be... 3351.55 so there is color coding because A, D, C, D, A, B, B, C have the same area of 300 mm square only B, D has an area of 200 so let's place it at the last so next member is A, B which is 30 plus 0.75 B so the partial derivative with respect to P is 0.75 and the length is 6, so the product with P100 is 472.5. Next is BC, which is equal to AB, so we copy everything. 30 plus 0 0.75B, 0 0.75, 6, and 472.5. Then, for member CD it is negative 0.9014p minus 36.056 partial derivative negative 0.9014 then the length is 2 square root of 13 then the product negative 0.9014 of 100 minus 36.056 times negative 0.9014 times 2 square root of 13, that's 820.29. And finally, for member BD, it is just P. Take note, P is 100. Partial derivative is 1. Length is 4, so 100 times 1 times 4, 400. So just sum up summation of S, partial of S with respect to P length for this blue colored entries so that's 2116.84 kilonewton meter so take note that we have to multiply this by 1000 square to convert it to newton mm and e which is common 200,000 megapascals so the vertical displacement at b is 1000 square over e 200,000 quantity 2116.84 over area 300 plus 400 over area 200. So that would be in mm. So vertical displacement because this is positive, so downward in the direction of B also. So the vertical displacement at B is 45.28 mm downward. Next by virtual work method for the horizontal displacement at C or this flexion at C we apply a unit rightward load of 1 so if we sum up moment about A reaction at C would be 0 vertical reaction at A would also be 0 that's one. So therefore, because the vertical reaction is zero, then AD is zero. BD is zero, summation versus Y. There's no load here. And CD, summation versus Y, is also zero because there's no vertical reaction at C due to this unit virtual load at C, horizontal virtual load at C. So that's zero, that's also zero. So only members A, B, and B, C will have a stress of one unit if we sum up forces horizontal. So U, A, B is one. U, A, B 
minus 1 equals 0, summation forces x at a. So uab is 1, ubc is also 1. So sab is equal to sbc equals 30 plus 0.75 of 100. Remember p is 100. So sab equals sbc equals 30 plus 0.75 of 100. And that is 105 kilonewtons. So take note that the displacement is summation of Sulai, SUL over AE, where U is 1 for members AB and BC. So if we concentrate on AB, we multiply the displacement by 2. So delta C horizontal equals 1,000 square common over 200,000 times quantity S, 105, U, 1, length 6, over area 300. And this is for member AB alone. So for BC, we multiply it by 2, the whole value, because they are equal. Therefore, delta CH is equal to 21.00 mm rightward. So that's it for this problem. I hope that you were able to follow the solution and understand.